you know, this morning was a little more emotional than usual. The anxiety was expected. When I first walked in, the building was really quiet and like there was nobody in the halls talking. Students and parents are still struggling to process the horrifying shooting. That day was so traumatic, um, but I knew that the school had things in control. I just wanted to see my son. The superintendent says about 90% of students uh, return to class today. Gasoline. One student not ready to come back is Brant Murray. He spoke only with WLWT about the shooting, which left bullet fragments in his leg. My leg felt weird, but I'm not, I wasn't sure what it was until we ran back to our choir room and we were waiting there and then I rolled up my pants leg and noticed that I, there was something there. Brand gave us insight about the accused shooter, Austin Hancock. He was well liked by most people. He was very funny and he was on the wrestling team. The superintendent says everyone is trying to get back to normal, dealing with all kinds of emotions. Looking back, he says the response worked. We were very lucky that day, but everything that we practiced and planned went well. Our kids in the room within 10 seconds had evacuated the room. Today's lesson focused on recovering and moving forward. Today was pretty much just like a relaxed day and talk to your friends about it and use positive outcomes and stuff instead of thinking about the negative. Now the superintendent says he encourages parents with guns to lock them up in a safe. Reporting live in Madison Township, Tammy Matassa, WLWT News 5.